Hey Sarah, if I know some people who want to build a machine learning pipeline end-to-end -end on GCP, could you help? Absolutely. It's an area I know pretty well. How can I help? Could you walk me through a real-world example? No problem. We've got a demo that shows you how to predict the price of a bottle of wine with nothing more than its description and variety. Really? You don't even need to know the name or the year of the wine? Nope, we can get everything we need just from those two things. Give me five minutes and I'll show you a wine prediction model. Okay, let me explain how our model works. The trick to predicting the price of a bottle of wine without needing to know the name or year is to use a model that allows us to extract more meaning from the wine's description. We can't feed the raw text of our wine descriptions directly to the model, so we'll first need to encode it in a numerical format that our model can understand. So we turn the words into arrays of numbers, so our description is in a format that the ML algorithms can more easily use? Yes, and there are many ways to transform text. If we use multiple types of transformations at once, our model will be able to identify more complex relationships in our data. We'll use what's called a wide and deep model to predict each wine's price. For the wide part of our model, we'll represent our text as a bag of words, which will look like an array of ones and zeros, indicating the presence or absence of certain words from our vocabulary. In this example, our vocabulary includes the top 12,000 words from our entire text corpus of wine descriptions. So what makes this a wide model? Good question. We'll be transforming each text description into a single long vector, the same size as our vocabulary, in this case, 12,000 elements. For the deep part of our model, we'll create word embeddings, which is just a fancy mathematical way of saying that we'll use vectors to measure the similarity between words. Similar words will be closer together in vector space. Ah, so we call this deep because instead of using a single long vector, we use many shorter vectors to capture words that are closely related. Exactly. And the number of vectors for each description depends on how big you want your embedding space to be. Here, we're using an eight-dimensional embedding space. OK, I think I get it. So how do we actually train this model? Colab has everything we need. It's an interactive and collaborative Python notebook that you can access directly from the browser completely free. To train our model, we'll use a TPU, which stands for Tensor Processing Unit, Google's custom ASIC designed specifically for machine learning. It's just three mouse clicks to change your runtime in Colab to use a TPU. After we select the TPU runtime, we'll download the data and convert it to a format our model will understand. But what about all the storage, compute, and other stuff I need to do this training? Good point. With Colab, we don't have to worry about managing any infrastructure. We just create a notebook and get straight into building and training our model. Let's see what the model looks like when we use it to predict how much a particular bottle of wine costs. Pretty good, right? Yeah, it looks to be within about 10% for most of them. You can also run the model yourself by clicking the link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to the Google Cloud Platform channel.